Hello. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so happy to have you all here tonight for our demo night, another great demo night. Thank you for the brave people who came. Thank you, everyone who's watching us live. Uh, I'm Alini, community lead at Le Wago Montreal. Uh, today is the last day of a very intense, interesting experience for this batch. Uh, it's, uh, they were coding nine weeks with us, learning how to code and building amazing products. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great night. I'm really happy to celebrate this with you. I imagine uh, in the audience, some of you uh, don't know what Le Wagon is. Uh, so we build bridges uh, between uh, businesses, uh, technology, creativity. We bring technical skills to creative people who want to uh, improve their portfolios and the tech skills, uh, to entrepreneurs who want to launch their tech products, to professionals who want to change their lives, and also to people who want to get technical skills to be able to apply for jobs in the tech and interesting e industry. Um, and uh, tonight, actually, it's where we're going to discover the result of this amazing journey, uh, this uh, full stack web development journey. So uh, for those of you uh, who don't know also uh, where we came from, so we started in Paris and now we are in 38 cities around the world, more than 6,900 alumni. And tonight, uh, the, same, uh, uh, the same moment where we are presenting the projects here, other cities in the world, they are also uh, pitching their products. We have 200, uh, 279 alumni uh, pitching their projects at the same time and uh, along with uh, these uh, 18 amazing people here with us. So, uh, woo! you're joining a, an amazing uh, global community. We are also very proud to have the best uh, tech partners in our network of hiring alumni. And uh, we didn't stop only here with web development. Uh, we also launched a data science bootcamp uh, in Europe this year. And we're super happy to announce we're going to launch the data science bootcamp in Montreal too in 2020. <laughs> so uh, speaking about uh, exciting things that are coming, we have exciting projects coming here tonight. <laughs> and I wanted to, to actually introduce a little bit of this batch. So we have just 18 amazing, amazing people uh, here with us. Uh, with many different backgrounds, we have entrepreneurs, designers, marketing managers, uh, people with so many different uh, skills and backgrounds. Uh, we have eight different countries. 60% of the batch is women and non-binary people. We are super, super proud of that achievement too. <laughs> and of course, they all collaborated together to present five amazing projects tonight. And uh, I must say, uh, personally, that I was really inspired by you every day. Uh, it was a very, very special batch. <laughs> Since uh, I remember the first week, you already gathered like a big group. We went to a cafe and you shared code, you teach it to each other. It was really inspiring. All the days, it was really inspiring to see you. You were very committed. You took it very seriously. And uh, that's why the, uh, the products tonight, they are so amazing. <laughs> uh, it's really because of your effort, so congratulations. So without further ado, we'll start with the projects. Uh, for those of you who have never coded before, you cannot imagine the challenge it is to do what they did in only 10 days. So they had the idea, they designed it, they prototyped it, they coded it, they tested it, they fixed bugs, go back, fix bugs again. <laughs> practice their pitch and they're going to present tonight. So it's really impressive considering that some of them, uh, they didn't have a coding background before. So let's start. Yes. The first uh, group is uh, Began with... <laughs> Began is an app with guidelines and challenges to help you become vegan. Uh, it was built by Santiago. Felix, uh, Vicky, and Katel. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> um, I'm Santiago. I come from Colombia. I speak Spanish, no French. Um, I come from Colombia. And last year, I told to myself about 10 times that I want to become vegan. 
Every time I think about it, I went home, talked with my mom, and my mom told me like, you're not meat. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get the same things. What's gonna happen with your body? Maybe you'll get weak. And I got really scared a lot of times, and I knew that that wasn't reality because I need, my body needs some things that I can find other places, but I didn't have the time. I have to spend one to two hours researching, and I just, like, just lose motivation. But my New Year resolution is to become vegan. And, and so I started researching. It was really long homework, uh, a lot of time to do. I was really a little bit down, but today, um, today one of my friends told me about this great app called Vegan. Uh, it's an amazing app, as he told me, that with the small challenges, you're going to be able to learn what your body needs, how can you replace meat, how can you work uh, with other uh, kind of foods, with uh, plant-based foods. So I'll, I'm on my way home, I downloaded the app, right? Uh, and the first thing I see, it's my dashboard. Right, so the first thing I want to do is start choosing uh, my small goals. So I can see that I can be flexitarian, I can see vegetarian, I can see vegan, but since I'm a guy that uh, uh, eat a lot of meat, I'm gonna start with flexitarian at first um, and see, and see what, I, what, I'll, what I'll get. So I have some small challenges. I'm on my way home. I'm gonna just click on the first one uh, to see what it's about. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna click on the first one to see what it is about. Um, I have to buy tofu. I've never heard about tofu, it's like ghost. I've, I've always heard about them, but I've never seen one. Uh, so I don't really know about it, so I start uh, looking for the tips. The tips are clear ingredients, you know, natural, avoid chemicals. Uh, then you can find a lot of types of tofu for a lot of different things. And I can buy it on a supermarket. I'm just getting home, I'm right next to the supermarket, so I just bought it, and I'm just gonna complete the challenge. Uh, the second thing, well, I get home, uh, right? I haven't got dinner, I haven't cooked anything, and I'm really in a vegan mood, so I really like to uh, cook something vegan. I just bought a tofu that I don't know what to do with it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to the next challenge. And I'm gonna see again the tips. I have to cook tofu. Uh, so if it's so for soybeans, it has a lot of protein, so I can replace it with meat. Uh, and I just keep going. I want to see the recipes. What can I do with tofu? So I can see a lot of stuff uh, for the simple tofu brunette. Oh, I love this one. I'll, I'm gonna try it. So I'll just see, it's just 15 minutes. I can have those ingredients. I have everything at home. Uh, I can ha I can have it. Okay, I'm gonna just cook it. Ready? It was amazing. <laughs> I washed my hands, as we should. Uh, so I just cooked it. It was amazing. Let's just complete the challenge. I remember I'm gonna have some friends tomorrow, uh, right? And I'm in the vegan mood. I'm still in the vegan mood. I'm really excited. Uh, so I want to see more recipes, but first I want to go to see what people say about recipes. What can I see? Um, so I see that this guy called Felix, I don't know him. Uh, he said, just cook the Singapore noodles, totally recommended. I'm just gonna go to see it. So I'll, I'll go and see all the recipes uh, the, of the app. And I select the Singapore noodles to see, right? So I'm going down, I need to have some flour. I don't have that at home. I can't cook that. Okay, no, let's just go back and try to see for another recipe. Just go down, yeah. Oh. Those Tina Talbule looked really well. Okay, nice. Nice, okay, I have those ingredients. Yeah, I'm gonna add it to my cookbook right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, then I'm going to bed. It's been a really long day. I was in a demo, it was really stressful. Then I was doing it, it was, it was stressful. But I'm going to, to bed and I want to see what more challenges do I have to do tomorrow, right? So I'll just go and see. Oh, it's just a quiz. I'm just gonna do it fast, I'm in bed. Uh, so what is tofu made of? Um, tofu is made of soybeans, I remember, for the tips. Uh, where does it come from? Oh, I don't really remember. I think it's Atlantis? I don't really remember. No, <laughs> it isn't. Uh, but it's China. I remember, yeah, it's China. And uh, can I have tofu for dessert? Yes, absolutely. Like, I can do a lot of things with tofu. For sure, dessert is one. So I'm just gonna click there. Um, and I want... I just remembered for lunch I didn't have meat at all, so I think I can I can count another day without meat. So I'm just going to the counter, click the my today day, 
to have a track of the days without meat. And that's it, just going to sleep and having some more challenge for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Really cool, if you were afraid of becoming vegan, maybe you're not anymore. So uh, the next app is uh, Canary, an app to help you plan your next trip, built by Augustin, Habib and Mohamed. Hi guys, my name is Mohamed and I am a computer science major. I have a bunch of assignments due in the upcoming weeks. My finals are quickly approaching. And can you guys tell me what I should be doing right now? You got it, we're gonna go ahead and plan a trip. <laughs> now the last time I planned a trip, it wasn't the best experience. It was very time consuming. There was a bunch of different websites telling me to do different things. And quite frankly, I didn't know which activities to go with. The activities that, that I did end up choosing weren't the best. I didn't really enjoy them that much because they were very, uh, I guess, yeah, they were very uh, touristy. Uh, but my friend told me about Canary. And at first I'm like, Canary, uh, how's a bird gonna help me? And he's like, this bird is going to help you do your research so that you don't have to. And it's gonna help you generate an itinerary for activities based on your interest. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So a place that I've always wanted to travel to was Italy, more specifically Rome. Because, uh, just wait, just wait, just wait. <laughs> Uh, because of their rich history and, uh, and I love the restaurants over, I, I love Italian cuisine. And uh, yeah, I know that right now is not the best time to travel with the world burning down. But if I plan my, if I plan my flight right now, maybe I can snag a great deal. So let's say I want to travel in August, you know, a little bit in advance. And let's say I want to travel from the 10th of August till the 16th. That seems pretty reasonable. I definitely don't want to go for family over there. I don't have any Italian family, but I want to go to relax. And uh, well, while I'm in Italy, I want to check out the museums. I want to go to different restaurants because I love to eat. And spa, spa could be relaxing, so let's go ahead with that. And let's see what Canary has to offer. Cool, so it looks like they're working really hard to generate the itinerary. And voila, wow, there's a lot of activities over here. Okay. So my friend did tell me about this type of massage that he got. It's called a Thai oil massage. Why am I getting a Thai massage in Italy? Don't judge. Um, but it sounded interesting, and a place that might have it could be Templum Salutis. So let me just find more information on that. So uh, Templum Salutis, uh, all of our treatments occur without, very nice, very nice. It says it's very private, has a high number of stars, low cost, very affordable for a student like me. But it doesn't give me the information that I want, the fact that do they have a Thai oil massage or not? So let's go ahead and browse the website to see if I can find that information elsewhere. All right, so um, cool. I can see my itinerary planned out very, very nicely over here. Despite what I said before, I am a very organized person. So, uh, oh, there we go, Templum Salutis. They have a website, so maybe I can go ahead and check that out and see what information I can get from there. All right, uh, okay, so the website is not the best looking and me being uh, in need of a job soon, maybe I can go ahead and offer my services to them. But they definitely do have the Thai oil massage, so that's great, that answers my question. So let's go back to the website and uh, continue browsing our itinerary. There we go, that's not the website. <laughs> and that's not the one either. There we have it, all right. Now, I do want to customize my itinerary a little bit more. Uh, I want to be able to change some things around, so let's go ahead and try to do that. Now, because I'll be landing on Monday, it's very likely that I won't be able to do the first activity, so uh, we'll take off the activity for Monday morning in order to free up that schedule so I can relax a little bit. Yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and delete that activity. Now, I did notice that I have three spas planned consecutively. And that's a little bit too much for me, so Artemis Spa, unfortunately, you're gonna have to go. So let's go ahead and delete that as well. Now, I did notice an activity on Monday evening. It's called Raffaello. What is, what is that? Let me get more information on that. Raffaello, the four rooms, blah, 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 blah. Julius Caesar, oh, Julius Caesar in Italy. I know I'm gonna love that activity. Has a nice number of stars, it's affordable. 
So I'm definitely going to keep that in my itinerary, but I did notice that I might want to go to the restaurant after I go to the museum, because if I go before, I might feel a little tired, a little sluggish. So let's go ahead and change that around. Very nice. What is this? What is Enoteca Ferreira? I wonder what that's about. Let's go ahead and click on that. That's right. Okay, so sisters, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem like the best activity for me. Maybe Canary can suggest me a different activity. Uh, Artemis Spy, you're back again. No, we don't want to do you. No, that's not. Let's go ahead and find another one. Romano, no, we've done too many uh, museums. I, I need a place to eat. There we go, we're almost there. And there we have something that might be of interest. So let's go ahead and see. Gourmet pizza, sign me up. Five stars, one dollar sign, that's amazing. So I'm definitely sticking to that. Now, because I'll be traveling on Sunday, I wanna clear up my, uh, my itinerary for Sunday evening and afternoon. So let's go ahead and just delete those activities. There we go, there we go. And now one last thing I did notice is something to do with the Vatican. Now, because I'm traveling to Italy, I want to see what that's about. So it's the Vatican Museum. It's pretty expensive. The reviews are great, but there's no way that I'm leaving Italy without checking out the Vatican Museum. Um, so yeah, my uh, schedule looks great. Uh, the only thing that's left for me to do now is download my itinerary. So let's go ahead and just download the itinerary. And yeah. But uh, there we have it. And voila, I have my itinerary all planned out, all saved. So now I can get back to binge watching Netflix. No, no, no. I'm not binge watching Netflix. I'm going back to studying. Thank you, guys. Really cool. Congratulations. So are you ready for the next one? Yes, it's a green thumb, an app to help you master home gardening, built by James Cricket, Rose, and Antoine. Hi, everybody. My name is Cricket, and this is my lovely wife, Rose. Hi. And uh, we actually just bought a lovely house together with a yard in Reunion Island, where she is from, and I am not. Um, and we made a commitment to each other to grow more of our own food. Uh, but I, uh, I mean, neither of us have had the best luck with plants nope. in our lives. <laughs> um, so uh, Rose signed us up for this new app called Green Thumb. And I'm really glad about it because I don't know anything about this local climate. I'm from the northeast coast of the US where they have winter. I don't know what my plants need. Uh, it's summer every day here, and uh, just in general, I'm not very good at gardening. I never remember what I planted. The seeds are tiny, they go under the ground, and I forget. Um, and I never know how big a plant's gonna grow, when it gets big, and I just, ha I am clueless. Yeah, and I'm really bad at watering my plants. I always get them too much water or not enough, and they always end up dead. And when they don't die, well, we uh, tend to uh, take the vegetable too early or too late and it doesn't taste good. So we're gonna do a little planning on this garden on our home computer. Um, we've been working on it for a little while and this is my favorite part because it reminds me of everything that we've planted. Um, we've got our lettuce, we've got our pumpkins, we've got our cucumbers and I can see where everything is, um, which is awesome because like I said, I never remember. Uh, Wait, when did we plant the bell peppers again? Uh, I don't remember, so we should probably just click and see. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, they're 41 yeah. days old, and we planted them on February 1st. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, I think we can fit another vegetable in here, though. Don't you think we have enough room? I think so. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what the hub says. I've always had this idea to plant um, zucchini. Courgette, honey. We say courgette. Right. I have to remember to say it the way she yeah. says it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, it looks like, I mean, it says they're easy to grow. It just says to make sure you harvest it in time. And we, it looks like we can handle this, right? Yeah. Uh, we probably have time Saturday to do some gardening. Yeah, Saturday works. Okay. Um, so let's plan to plant that zucchini courgette uh, right above our tomato plants in this uh, nice big empty space that we yeah, have. Should be fine. Have space. Ah, oh, um, the courgette is too close to the neighboring tomato oh. plants. 
I had no idea it was going to get that big. Um, well, okay, that's really disappointing. Yeah, wait, didn't we have another spot in the side of the house we can try to plant some stuff in? Yes, we did. Okay, yeah. that's where we're going to go. Um, excellent. Yeah, we haven't planted anything here. It's so empty. let's try again. And I think this is going to work this time. This Saturday, we're going to plan to plant it. We don't have seeds yet, but we'll get them. What if what? we add two? Yes, two let's just plants. put two in there. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I'm really excited. Yeah, this is um, going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, but okay. I just remembered, I actually have to run to work. Can really? you do the watering for the day? Uh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you, honey. Can you just put that in a compost for me? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> all right, well, I guess I'm on watering duty today. I'll just go in the garden and uh, with my phone check on what's going on with the plants. So let's see who needs water. Okay, uh, we have a lot of information here. Pumpkins needed almost five liters of water. Spinach, one liter. Yeah, that makes sense because spinach are pretty small, right? So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna start with the pumpkin and then just follow the inscription to uh, water the plants. And this is one of my favorite things about this app is that I don't have to think about how many water I give my plants because it does it for me and I don't risk killing the plants that way. And don't tell Cricket, but I actually love watering the plant, especially when it's such a beautiful day. And uh, speaking of the weather, um, maybe I should check on what's going on for the next few days, because here in this island, the weather changed so quickly. And uh, yeah, it looks like we had a thunderstorm coming on Wednesday. Oh, this is bad. Just to make sure, I'm going to see if there's nothing bad coming up before Wednesday. So Sunday, yeah, it's going to be light rain. Uh, Monday, just some clouds. Okay. And Tuesday, some rain again. I think, I think we're good. The only thing I'm worried about is that I need to uh, stake the tomato because I don't want them to blow over because of the thunderstorm on Wednesday. So I'll just make a reminder for that. Um, maybe we can go buy some um, steaks for the tomato plants. I guess we plan that for uh, Sunday after brunch. I mean, we don't have anything else planned for on Sunday. And I'll make that a high priority because I don't want to forget about it. Cool. And uh, yeah, it looks we also have a bunch of reminders set for the courgette we are planning to plant this weekend. Yeah, even the, the harvest task for the courgette we are planning to uh, plant this weekend, which is great. Uh, yeah, I guess we have been taking care of the plants for the day, and I'll just go ahead and uh, enjoy the rest of this beautiful afternoon. Thanks, everybody. This is Green Thumb. Wow, good job. I'm definitely going to use this app after. Uh, so the next uh, project is uh, Blink. Uh, Blink is an app that helps you maintain your eye health. It's built by Ines, Erin, and Alex. Bonjour tout le monde. This is going to be interactive. Keep it up. Uh, my name is Alex Holder, and I'm a full-stack web developer, and I'm at the office, and all day long I've been staring at my computer screen about this far away from my eyes. Needless to say, it's been a little rough on my eyes. What I've been doing is trying to debug my code, and that can be hard when you're the one that bugged the code to begin with. So uh, I'm trying to take care of my eyes. They've been red. I've got a bit of a headache trying to see what I can find, but fortunately, I came across a solution, this elegantly designed app called Blink. So I downloaded it. And what Blink does, it helps you to rewire your brain. Wow, yeah. Um, so what it does, I'm at work. Every 20 minutes, I get a notification that reminds me, it's time to take a step away from the screen. I need to take a rest. It also logs my computer time. And finally, it composes customized personal routines based on blinking exercises. Pretty cool, right? So you're probably thinking to yourself, 
blinking. It's something I do without thinking. Are you trying to add another thing to my day that I have to think about? And the answer is no. I found out in the resources page that when we blink, it refreshes and moisturizes our eyes. But when we're on our computers, we only blink about five times a minute. You're supposed to blink about 15 times a minute. As a result of this, about 20% of adults are coming down with dry eye symptoms like me. Not fun. So um, what Blink does, like I said, That didn't happen. Oh, but what did happen, I've got my notification for my evening routine. So I'm going to open up my app and check it out. My routine consists of different exercises, and this is the interactive part. I'm going to ask you guys to join me. It's a lot of fun. It's like yoga for your eyes. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Aniva. I'll spare you guys. You've been a good audience. I'll spare you from that. Why did it tell me to do it 12 times? This is the cool part. So today was kind of rough on my eyes. I was on my computer for 11 and a half hours straight. We also have the weather here because temperature, humidity, that can also make your eyes more dry. So Blink knows I've had a rough day and therefore recommends 12 reps. Let's say I use Canary to book a vacation. I'm somewhere nice and tropical. It's warm out it'd be much different. I only have about four reps. So it truly is personalized. The last thing I want to do on this app real quick is turn off my notifications because it's Friday night. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. So I don't want any morning reminders for this notification. I can do it later in the day. So let the weekend begin. All right. At home, no work. The computer is put away. Let me hear you say weekend. Weekend. Yeah. Your boss is calling and your code is broken. Your boss is calling and your code is broken. Are you uh, calling to tell me what a great job I did today? No. The website is down. Fix it now or you're fired. <laughs> Real personality champ, my boss. Um, well, that's it for my weekend, unfortunately. So I'm going to hop on my computer. The first thing I need to do is turn on my eye break notification so I get a reminder every 20 minutes. Heroku. 20 minutes later. Oh, what do you know? 20 minutes. Time flies when you're debugging. Uh, so this is a notification telling me it's time to take a break, look away from the screen. Rather than just have me stare off into space aimlessly, though, it gives me a recommendation each time of things I can do. Chat with a coworker. Well, I'm at home alone on a Friday night, and me and my cat are not on speaking terms right now, so I need to find a new suggestion. Can you uh, give me something new? Do your favorite leg and back stretches. Now we're talking. All right, guys, that's it for Blink. Thank you very much. Amazing. So are you ready for the last one? Uh, if you care about the environment and uh, climate change, you're going to like this app. They all uh, fight climate change, challenging yourself and challenging uh, your daily habits. Built by Carms Nur Clemence Lorenz.
my god, is this Nunu? Oh, hey, Kams, how are you? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm good. When was the last, last time I saw you? It's been a while, eh? Yeah, I think... It was, it was last fall. It was, yeah, it was the climate fall. strike. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I remember we've been with Clem and Laurence. How have you been doing since? Yeah. motivated to like make changes the science say that we have to make lifestyle changes in order to battle climate change and it's necessary it's not something that's negotiable right so me i tried to go no meat but i should try to go no plastic and that didn't stick and then there's like bad news after bad news right like wow on fire Greta is always angry and don't <laughs> get me started on what I do even matter? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Uh, I've been trying to do, uh, to, uh, like, making lifestyle, like, new lifestyles is really hard. Yeah. Starting it is even harder, and keeping it, it's the worst. But uh, so I, I signed up into uh, this app called uh, Deo, and it really helped me a lot. Oh, Deo? Yeah, Deo is a climate uh, habit builder app, and it uses uh, fun challenges to mm. to introduce new habits to your life and it tracks your your impact and it also connects you to uh, to a community that ha that shares the same goals as you so oh. do you want to check it yeah please show me so let me show you so when i go in my profile i can see um th so there is all my uh, my tracking so i can see uh, since uh, i've been using this app that uh, i really i'm really i'm really progressing into uh, my plastic and my diet oh cool shows your uh, impact breakdown eh? yes and oh, i wow. also you can also see uh, my daily impact has been really improving so i can see uh, per uh, per week so i can even see uh, what what i'm wow, you're really doing up yeah. there wow <laughs> good for you for the month. And uh, it, al uh, it also provides you uh, the, um, the, uh, the average, uh, si your average city impact. So as you see, uh, I'm doing uh, even better than uh, an average Montrealais. Oh, so. wow. Okay. So, I mean, you're so good. How come your impact today is zero? Oh, so basically to gain impact, you have to uh, log, uh, log in uh, habits or, uh, or an action uh, through uh, challenges. So let me, uh, let me show you. So it's really easy when you go to habits. And so here uh, there is all the list uh, of uh, the things I've been doing every day. But uh, today I ordered pizza, so I'm going to uncheck my temporary for a takeout. Mm. And I've been using a grocery bag, so I'm going to check that. And I think that's all for my habits. Oh, that makes sense. So, so as you see, yeah, my Apex is growing. Okay. But I also have challenges to, uh, I have action to challenges to unlock. So let's go to my challenges. And this is the challenge I've been working on. So uh, I really want to be able to repair things instead of buying new ones. So I'm going to add this to my habits. And also, I've been waiting for weeks to be uh, to, to, to uh, the weather have been uh, fine and been sunny to bike. So today I went biking. So let's do let's done that. Wow, so that's that it. is I so exciting. My <laughs> yeah, sign me up. Yeah, let's go. All right, so you said that um, to get new habits, to introduce new habits, we use challenges, right? Let's exactly. go challenge. Okay, so a starter pack. Uh, a starter pack, it must be uh, Deo. Yeah, Deo comes with a starter pack to, uh, to, keep you, to, uh, to help, help you get started. started. Very cool. So, okay, so I got seven items. Reusable water bottle. Let's go from the top. Okay, a million bottles are bought every minute? Yeah, horrible. Oh my god, that's, that's, mm -mm. we gotta do something about it. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously got my bottle there. Let's <laughs> check that. Done. It is, must be a habit. Let's uh, make it a habit. Okay, so that's how you add a habit. Um, let's see, Tupperware. Okay, it's prep vegetarian meal. Okay, let's check that. Check out this awesome app called Begin. Yeah, I heard oh about goodness. it too. Yeah, yeah. it's an amazing <laughs> app. Okay, 
I think I'm really getting a hang of this app. Huh? So it also comes with uh, a buddy system. You can like uh, do challenges uh, with other people. So do you want to start a challenge together? Why not? Yeah, let's, let's add a go. challenge. Okay, so we can uh, look for by category. Um, I see that your energy uh, yeah, you is a bit weak, yeah. right? <laughs> so let's. Uh, why not we do a do one together? Yeah, why not? Let's go to the to energy. Okay, we got some let's choices. Take that. Like me, I, I'm just starting, so want something uh, short and easy, yeah? Maybe, uh, uh, maybe the, the first one, yeah, uh, five fiber. days, uh, difficulty one, nine to fiber. Didn't we just got a coding gig? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's go with I that. I think that would be good. our nine to five will be our new lifestyle. Okay, let's check that. Mm, sounds good. Mm -hmm. So challenge your buddy. Am I seeing some familiar faces <laughs> around? <laughs> so yeah, Deo uh, comes uh, to connect you with the users uh, near you. Okay, okay, so let's uh, check Nour. And challenge Nour. Yes. Yeah, so Ooh, let, what's Let's that? go. <laughs> let me accept you. So I go to my buddy. To <laughs> so I let me accept. Oh, that's and here you go. This is uh, our our challenge. Okay, so, so let's see. Let's see. Oh, do you see the last item? Last <laughs> item there. <laughs> <laughs> local beer at a San Cassette. Yeah. Do we have local beer over here? <laughs> yeah, I think there is oh, some there. Yeah, let's yeah. let's grab. Let's grab a beer. beer. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank let's you. Let's grab a beer. So this was the last speech. I hope you enjoyed it. They deserve now a huge round of applause. They worked really hard. They deserve it. So now actually I'm going to call Wilfred Valenta to come here. Wilfred is the founder of uh, Silofit. He came here in the middle of the batch to share his uh, experience as an entrepreneur, and he came back uh, kindly to share some words uh, with the batch. So uh, first of all, thank you for having me back. Uh, it's, uh, it's an honor, and uh, I'd, I'd like to say, uh, first off, I don't think there's a single uh, product that I wouldn't use. Uh, I was gonna go see my eye doctor today. <laughs> And uh, my plant is dying as well. So um, yeah, overall, I'm very, very impressed. I love the dynamism as well. Um, really, really impressive. So good job, guys. Um, also, everyone here seems uh, quite entrepreneurial, not really risk averse uh, to this uh, coronavirus thing that's going on. So, uh, <laughs> so good for you. I was really contemplating it, but, uh, <laughs> but really happy uh, to see everyone out here. I think, um, I think during these hard times, it just shows you how much uh, we crave uh, human interaction, how special these, these moments are. So, uh, so obviously, congratulations. Um, I think that, you know, success comes with the interaction, or the intersection, rather, of hard work and a little bit of luck. So I think the most important thing is that you keep working hard um, and you keep finding opportunities like this to really sharpen the saw gain a new skill set, and learn as much as possible. Um, I've never given up, I've never said no to a coffee. Um, I've never really said no to a meeting. I always pick up the phone, I always try to meet more people. It's been getting significantly harder lately. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I'm always open to, uh, to speaking with any of you. So before uh, I leave you, I'm just gonna give you a quick quote. That's one of my favorite. Um, and it's a little intense, but I think you'll like it. So. Um, if you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. That could mean losing your girlfriends, wives, relatives, and maybe even your mind. It could mean not eating for three or four days. It could mean freezing on a park bench. It could mean jail. It could mean desertion. It could mean mockery or isolation. But isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance, of how much you really want to do it. And you'll do it despite the rejection, despite the worst, worst odds and it will be greater than anything else you can imagine. So if you're going to try, try all the way. There's no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods and the nights will flame with fire. You will ride life straight to perfect laughter. It's the only good fight there is. So if you feel that burning itch from hell, get out there and do it.
So, now you all deserve the certificates. So, Alex Holder. <laughs> Antoine Bonniari. I was not debriefed on the name, so. Augustin Brun. Carms, and you. Christina Beretti Sigal. Clemence Paymont. Aaron Soggs. Felix Timel. Habib yeah. Mbou. Ines Bilgedi. James Schooler. Katel Goa. Uh, Laurence Brubé Côté. Mohamed Mirza. Yeah. Noor Sweet. Yeah. Rose Grandin. Yeah. Santiago yeah. Giraldo. Yeah. Vicky Andre. Congratulations. So before we celebrate and drink, I also wanted to thank you all the teachers and TAs that helped them in their learning curve. Martin. Starting with uh, Martin here. Woo! Stefan, Camille, Woo. Richard, Fred, Gabriella, Alex, Benjamin, two Nicholas, two Lias, MJ Lor. Also, Amandine and Christina that helped us a lot during the veg. <laughs> Our yoga teacher, Claudette, of course. <laughs> and our great volunteers of the night, they are all alumni too. So our next batch starts uh, April 6th and we also have a batch in July and a part-time batch April 18th. If you have any questions, you talk to us, uh, the team. Wash your hands before you eat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have fun. You can use your tickets now uh, to get uh, wine, beer, and the recruiters can connect with the students too. Thank you. Thank you.